Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on details about um, different methods of the measurement. And basically, that will be direct and indirect with an suitable example. So let us see the first one and that will be direct method of the measurement. So basically in the case of the direct method of the measurements that will be a simple method of the measurements and in which the value of the quantity is to be measured and obtained directly without any kind of calculations. So for an example Jason can take an readings with the help of scales, vernier calipers, micrometers for the measurement of the linear distance and the bevel protectors that should be used for an measurement of an angular. So by the utilization of this kind of instrument, so that will be indicating the direct value. So this is the most widely used the methods of into the productions. And this is the method is not very much accurate because of that will be basically depends upon an skill of an operator. So if you are proper utilization of the methodologies then loadings you should preferring the standard environment conditions then you should reducing the errors during the measurements. After the direct that will be your secondly indirect methods. So basically in indirect method of the value of the quantity to be measured is obtained by measuring the other quantities which are functionally related to the required value. So by that instruments or can say methodology it will be not directly give the readings. It will be having a some relations or you can say some changes with respect to your standards. So for an example just you can see for the measurement of an angles you should use the sign bar. So sign bar that will be not directly give the readings of that particular angles. So with the application of the sign bar and the dial indicators and the slip gauges. So that will be utilizations and taking an alignment and you should indirectly measure an angle because sign bar that will be used to measure an angle. So that will be considering as a indirect methods. Then measurement of the shaft power by the dynamometers that will be also the indirect kind of measurements. So just you can see that will be the one kind of examples of the direct measurements and indirect measurements. So just you can see into the left side that will be the examples of direct measurements. So that will be the weight or can say I would like to measuring the weight of that particular products and that will be my weighting machines. So directly you should put onto that surface and with the application of this instrument for weight measurement. So that will be directly indicating onto this display. So this quantity of that particular components it will be directly measured from here. So that will be known to be a direct measurement. In second figure just you can see that will be the same kind of products. But I don't have any kind of measuring instrument for a weight measurements. So here that will be the another kind of systems. So the weight measurements due to the difference into the oil pressures. So at any initially without this weight it will be having some positions onto your oil pressure sensors. By the placing of this component onto this surface by that particular weight. So due to that it will be generating the inward kind of pressure. So due to that weight it will be having a displacement and due to that displacement it will be increasing the oil pressure and that will be sensed by the sensors and it will be indicating. So this weight measurements it will be indirectly related with the oil pressure or can say that much amount of displacement. So this displacement it will be reflecting onto the oil pressure. And just you can note it down the change into the oil pressure. So by that amount of change into the oil pressures that will be correlated with that particular weight. So that much amount of the oil pressure is being changed. So that will be having a some relations and that will be indicating as a your weight. 
So in this kind of systems, it will be not directly given the readings. So it will be considering as a indirect kind of measurements. And most of the things, as you can see, most basic elements or can say without this measurement is not possible. So it is the most important things into the metrology measuring systems. So what you have. So first of all, the requirements of the standards. So if you are talking about the linear measurements, so that will be the line standards are there. If you are talking about the angular measurements, the angular standards are there. So each and everywhere it will be having a some standards or you can say your reference standards. So each and every measurement that will be with respect to your standards. So without standards, there is a no any kind of meaning of the measurements. So your each and every readings or you can say measured quantity that will be with respect to your standard value as a reference. So that will be the necessary conditions. Second things, workpiece. So for the measurement, you should have your workpiece, right? So that will be the necessary conditions. So on which the measurement is carried out. So product or you can say any kind of things that will be considering as a workpiece. Then environment. So that will be play a vital role. You should control your environment because environment play a difference into the measurements with the different environment conditions. Because into the our field that will be the change into the temperature, pressure and the positions due to that it will be changing your readings into the different locations, different environments. So basically predefined conditions for the measurement if you are working with the critical applications so that will be you should take care about this. After this the persons or you can say observers or you can say operators who are taking the readings, who are measuring the quantities from the systems or from the product. So to carry out the measurements or you can say in simple way readings. And finally instruments. So these measuring instruments are utilized for the measurements. So for the different category of the measurement like with respect to your distance measuring, with respect to your angular measurements. So there are so many instruments are available. Nowadays, most of the instruments with your indirect measurement, direct measurements, contact type, non-contact types. So all kind of systems are available, resources are available. But the general thing is what instruments are required. So with which measurement will be done. So this is whole regarding for the measuring systems are there. So you should take about a standard workpiece, environment, person and instrument. So these five category that will be the most essential part into the measuring systems. So without it, it will be not possible for the any kind of measurements into the any kind of systems. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.